Hard-headed dinosaurs are extremely famous, and, well, mostly due to Jurassic. But, on this episode of Dino Times, we are going to be talking about the cousin of Pachycephalosaurus, the Stiggy Moloch. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, and let's dive into this little cutie dinosaur. Stiggy Moloch lived in the late Cretaceous period, actually 68 to 65 million years ago. It was part of the Pachycephalosauridae family, which is the Draco Rex, Pachycephalosaurus that you've seen in Jurassic Park Lost World, and also you've seen Stiggy Moloch recently in some Jurassic movies, but we're going to talk about that later. And due to the time period it lived in, it actually lived alongside a Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops. The type species, Stigimolox spinifer, was described by Peter Galton and Hans Dieter Seuss of the National Museum of... Natural history. Now, yes, he is related to Pachycephalosaurus, but the dome skull is actually different than its cousin. The dome skull is actually relatively small, with slightly flattened from side to side, and actually a pear shaped that around the back edges actually has a crown of horns. So it's not just a regular dome skull with a little bit of crusions on there. Uh, it's actually got a crown of horns, and it's, the skull shape is actually slightly different. But this is going to lead into some controversy in just a sec. Stiggy Moloch is thought to have possibly used the horns on its head to battle others of its species for mating, um, for dominance, and also to use its protection as well. A really good interpretation of this can be read in the Primitive War uh, book series, the first Primitive War as well, as the soldiers in that book actually stumble upon a Stiggy Moloch. Heard doing a lot of mating things, I'll just put it as that. Now, sadly, there is always controversy. And the controversy, though, with Stiggy Moloch is uh, some scientists do believe it's actually a younger version of Stiggy Moloch. And we're actually seeing the Draco Rex as young, the youngest. Stiggy Moloch is like teenage years, and then the adult is Pachycephalosaurus. They just believe it is a younger version of the Pachycephalosaurus. Some say yes, some say no. Some evidence points to it being yes, some evidence points to it being no. It's a matter of opinion on this one until some concrete evidence comes out fully on it. And like I said before, though, it's become more known recently due to its appearance in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, the Jurassic World Evolution video games, the toy lines, oh, so many things in the Jurassic video games right now. All the jazz like that has made Sticky Moloch pop up and be a fan favorite as well as now known to people who are not hugely into dinosaurs. So I think it's really, really awesome to see that. And that's it, folks. Some little information for you guys on the Sticky Moloch dinosaur. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe for more every week for Dino Times, as well as I'm on Twitter at DakotaMorgan3, Instagram at Dakota underscore Morgan 97, and Twitch, CodaRex97. Thanks, everybody. You all rock. Hopefully you guys got a little bit of scientific knowledge from this. And remember, folks, science is real.